Okay, so here we are in my front yard garden. Um, here's a cool spider, a killer poisonous spider. Of course, I'd say most spiders are killer and poisonous, just not for people because they kill ants and bugs and flies and poison them and eat them. Uh, but anyway, this is known as an orchard spider or to sound really evil and cool, uh, an orchard orb weaver. Uh, very colorful. Right now, that's the underside. Um, so let's look at a side view. I'll try to get a side view in one second. Okay, again, that was the uh, ventral side, and now here's just like a side view of it. Of course, a uh, very nice web like any other spider. Uh, this guy's been in my front yard for a while. I did not smush him. I thought it'd be really mean and maybe rare, but then I saw my neighbor has one too. I was like, okay, great. Uh, makes a nice web. Of course, this one's kind of ruined because a few bugs fell into it already, courtesy of yours truly. Uh, but overnight, this guy tends to make a new one, anyhow, each night. Um, so of course, right now, it's just waiting. But we want to see it in action, right? So let's help it out and cheat a little bit and give it some yum-yums. Okay, here on the side of my house are some, you know, unsuspecting ants. They all tend to hang out right here. Uh, in this little hole here, that's where they come out, and uh, yeah, I kind of let them live too. I'm gonna borrow a few of them for my, for our orchard spider here. Um, and and here's the key: if you just smush them and they're dead, the spider's gonna think it's like a rock or a leaf. All right, so you kind of have to be cruel and half smush them and leave them alive. Just pick them up, and then as they're wiggling around, then the spider will jump. Right. So if you're trying to be a cruel kid. Uh, that's the way to go. All right, so here we go. All right, so here I got the poor little ant. Uh, again, when it's wiggling, then the spider will know it is alive and real. And here we go. Going to drop it on the web. Here we go. Spring it into action. So there's the ant, and there's the spider. It's going to first wrap them up. Okay, so use the legs and just turns the ant around while it wraps it up in the web with more web so it kind of breaks part of its own web and wraps it up kind of spins it up like a cocoon and then then it'll kind of ugh, then it'll kind of bite into it bite into it too there we go bam chomp down paralyze it with that venom then maybe save it for later. Or eat it immediately, I don't know. But if I come back a couple minutes later, it might be sucking on the juices. You don't know. Okay, so the first bite is kind of like to paralyze it. Then as it tries to wiggle, oh, now it's in a little cocoon. Or not a cocoon, because this thing's not closing. This thing is just a dead ant now. So, like a little tomb. Okay, I think uh, he's nervous. He knows he's on camera. Uh, okay, great. So mission complete. Zoom in a little more here. Zoom in a little too much there. Okay, where are you? Ah, there we are. Great. All right, so mission complete. Uh, yeah, rest on your laurels now and celebrate your victory. So I cheated a little bit, gave it an ant. Again, if you want to try that, the ant has to be moving, all right? So otherwise, it'll think it's a leaf and not even strike for it. So, yeah, so go back to the center, kind of chill out, wait for the next one, hopefully a natural one this time, sorry. I kind of cheated nature there, but there's the orb weaver in action, oh yeah.